All right, I know it's been a while, and I don't want to come on here like I've been posting for the past couple months, so I wanted to ask some questions first. So this video is going to be a QA. and a I asked a couple questions on YouTube and Instagram. I got a couple good ones. I'm on. Yeah, we'll just get into the video, I guess. What was your favorite prank of all time? My favorite prank of all time. Huh. It's got to be a recent one. I bet you guys are going to think I'm going to say the poop pranks. Well, it was not the poop prank, sadly. Honestly, it had to be one of like the the more kind of f***ed up ones, bro. Like moaning in people's ear prank. Oh, my favorite one. You remember the one we did at the library? The... The blasting inappropriate. Yeah. yeah that the blasting funny. inappropriate sounds in the library prank. Those are I, funny. Yeah, I wanted to do it again, but the microphones I have are not good for long range. Depending if I get new ones, I'm probably going to go and do that again. But that was my favorite one. Blasting inappropriate sounds in the library prank. Just because it was so quiet and like... The, it was just obnoxiously loud, the sound of the moaning. I thought it was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, next question. What made you want to start working out? Looking at myself in the mirror and hating my body. It's not that deep, I know, but to me it kind of was. How does someone become skinny fat? <laughs> How are you like scrawny on your arms and fat in your stomach? That was me pretty much, so I realized I had to cut that down. And I always wanted to be a little like on the bigger side, I always kind of wanted muscles, but I never like made the effort to do it. Like I was just too lazy. I'll do like 10 push-ups and just call it quits. But yeah, I don't know. I just got extremely motivated to get bigger. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no other reason why. All right. Why don't you take YouTube seriously? <laughs> the problem is, I guess I kind of did but I took it too seriously to where I let it get to my head. To go from having millions of views from your first video to getting a thousand views or less, like kind of fucked with my head, I'm not gonna lie. But I obviously knew why those videos got so many views and I could have easily kept doing those videos and kept getting more views. That kind of unmotivated me to keep making those types of videos. Not even like pranks in general, but just the poop pranks specifically. It's like. I know they're really funny, but I just don't always want to be known for that. I don't want to only be known for that. So I started making different type of content and it didn't do as good and it was kind of unmotivating. So I just like slacked off for a bit. Yeah, I mean, I hope I'm, <laughs> I'm all like choked up. Well, pretty much I think I'm back and I hope I'm back. I'm gonna try to not get unmotivated anymore and just film again like I used to. I think we could do the next question. What do you do for work? I used to drive forklifts. And then I started doing YouTube and I got paid right away. So technically YouTube was my job for a while when I was posting. And then I got a job again to make more money again. So that's also why I stopped posting as frequently. But my main source of income now is YouTube again. Well, you were pretty catchphrase for the spoiling my best friend's video. Honestly, I was thinking it was beef with Danny, but it's not even his fault. Freddy's the one that chose to spoil him, so Bruh. it's not a fade anymore. I'm just hoping I get spoiled next. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I mean, it's not that serious. It was just a joke that I made. What is your goal this year? I got like two more months this year, right? So I guess technically my goal for this year is to make more videos actually be consistent this time i don't know just be happier with making videos again it started feeling like a job which is weird obviously it's gonna feel like that at some point what is your bench pr my bench pr honestly don't really bench i do but not that often i put 45s and 25s god damn it i'm in a different location now i kind of had to move earlier it was getting really noisy, but we're gonna keep the vid going. If you could talk to the version of yourself from five months ago, what would you tell him? To not overstress it and not think so much about the future. Just do what you feel like you have to do, whether people think, no matter what people think about it pretty much, whether it's your friends, family, just do it. That's what I would tell myself if I was able to talk to myself five months ago. Next question, how old are you? I'm 24 and turning 25 in March, so next year. Damn! 
Yeah, that's crazy. What pets do you own? I own a Chihuahua. Her name is Yumi. I'll pop up a picture of her on the screen right here. And a French Bulldog. His name is Kuka. I'll pop up a picture of him right here too. They're both cool. What's your favorite part about YouTube and any plans to move to LA? Okay, uh, my favorite part about YouTube is I get to film whatever the fuck I want. Whether you like it or not, whether my friends like it, my family, I get to film whatever I want and post it and make money off of it and hopefully make it my living. Those birds are loud as I hope you can't hear it. You're probably gonna be able to hear them. Any plans to move to LA, honestly? I'm gonna go there temporarily, probably for like a month or something, hopefully a month, just to see the vibe, how it goes, how many videos I film, just see what I can do out there. So look forward to these next couple of videos because I'm gonna be out there. What are some things that you want to experience? Hmm. Love? Nah, I'm just kidding. Having fun with my friends, just doing a lot of new stuff. I want to do more like experience type of videos. So like go places I've never been to, experience things I've never done, see things I've never seen. Next question, are you done making the poop pranks? <laughs> That's kind of a hard one. I don't want to say yes and I don't want to say no because I know people like them so much, but that's just not what I want to be doing right now. And it's not what I've been wanting to do for a while now. But I think what really killed it for me was the fact that that's all everybody wanted to watch from me, which I understand it was funny. And I understand that, you know, like every creator has his moment where that's what he's known for and originally known for. And then they grow out of it and make other things that they're eventually known for. Like Mr. Beast. He was known for saying Logan Paul, what, like a million times or something? That was what he was originally known for. And now he's known for all the crazy shit he does. I just don't want to be stuck in that spot. It's like asking Mr. Beast to keep making videos of saying Logan Paul for 24 hours every single time he makes a video. It's like, that's how I look at it. It's like, I just don't want to be stagnant and making the same type of videos 24 seven. Whether they make me hella money, which they would, and a lot of views. I just wasn't happy making them anymore. But I'm gonna still keep making pranks and stuff. Poop pranks, I'm not sure. Fishing vlog ASAP with all the boys and get smoked out. You down to smoke? That sounds like a really fun time actually with all of my friends. If all my friends are down, hopefully sometime I'll make a fishing vlog. Would you start posting gym vlogs or gym related content? I think so, just not consistently. I don't want to be a gym, you know, YouTuber or like a fitness YouTuber, but a vlog, you know? I go to the gym every day. So it's like, why wouldn't I post about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What got you into what you're doing today and how do you feel? YouTube? Probably, huh? Yeah, I would say so. Honestly, creating content, it was low-key Freddy. Freddy got me into creating content. If it wasn't for Freddy, I probably wouldn't be making videos, to be honest. I want to be a rapper. I still do. I like rapping, but I just saw Freddy making videos and it seemed so fun and I wanted to try it out. And my poop pranks blew up right away. So I just kept it going, even though I stopped doing those frequently. Yeah, uh, that's what motivated me to keep it going because I seen that it was possible, I guess. What was your first and last job and how were the experiences? My first job ever? I worked at Chipotle, like fresh out of high school with my sister. I worked there for like a couple months, bro. I worked there for like eight months, not that long. Well, kind of long, I guess. It felt like an eternity. Pretty long. Yeah, that just shows you how much I hated it though. And my most recent job was I would drive forklifts, which would pay pretty good. Like I didn't hate it. It was actually fun. I get to drive a forklift all day for work and they would pay me decent. It wasn't like, I was getting paid, you know, like minimum wage or nothing. They get paid pretty good. But I just knew that's not what I really want to be doing with my life. If I were to like pick a career, I think I'd want to go back to school or like just be something else, not something, you know, that anybody can do. That's not what I want to be doing with my life right now. If you could be friends with any character from a show, who would you choose? Probably Goku Why? from Dragon Ball Z. That fool's strong as shit, bro. I feel like he could teach me so much how to be stronger, how to train harder. 
Really? Yeah. So motivating. I watched it pretty recently. It's been a while since I used to watch that. So sick. What has been your biggest motivator when you feel down? Damn. I don't know how to answer that one. Because mm, not really. It helps with like my mental health. I, I actually really love the gym now, but I can't really say anything helps me when I'm feeling unmotivated. Because I've also let it get to me pretty recently. I thought I was like locked in, you know, like I wouldn't let anything get to me. But I did get pretty unmotivated in like the past year, bro. I don't know how. Like I was just felt so drained with life. Not even like YouTube or like just life, bro. I don't know. I just like to say what keeps me motivated is knowing that everything gets better, you know. I I feel like I know that everything will be better and everything will be fine. What are some plans for future content? I've been getting into like exploring shit. I want to explore things and then pranks. I guess just anything I feel like filming vlogs. I don't want to be boxed in. I want to be able to film shit that's entertaining and you guys would want to watch. Next video might be something else. The next video might be scary. The next video, you know, it's October. These videos might be scary. Once October is done, they're going to go back to pranks. I might go back to, you know, it's like, I just want to film whatever I feel like filming. Last question is, are you happy? That was the last question, bro. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you guys for asking any questions. I hope I answered any concerns about anything that you guys were thinking about. More videos coming soon. Definitely now. So stay tuned.